Do you ever wonder what happens when the police leave? Crime scene cleaners are private companies that handle the cleanup after the police are gone. Spalding Decon is one of the nation's largest cleanup companies handling the aftermath of homicides, suicides, decompositions, hoarding, and much more. These are our stories. Hey YouTubers, it's Deidre, owner of Spalding Decon Plano. I was not gonna bother with a video of this job, uh, but now that I'm here, I'm like, mm, this one's a good one. Uh, we are in a scarier part of Fort Worth today, and because of that, I am not by myself. I have my helper Jared with me today. Jared, say hello everybody. Y'all remember Jared hello, from, the, guys. from the homeless camp. Um, so, we have a hoarder. living in a motel and was evicted two weeks ago. That white powder is uh, some kind of organic bug killer, apparently. Cause I was like, what is that? So, not excited about this job, but hey, we're here to help. And I'll probably just stop there because the trash gets really squishy after this point and I'm not suited up yet. So we'll see you in a little bit. Stay tuned. In here too. <laughs> hey guys, we are back at that motel in the scarier part of Fort Worth. Yeah, we had to come back. We had to come back because uh, Jared and I did not show up for that job as prepared as we should have. Uh, an hour and a half in, we both started dry heaving due to dehydration. It was 108 that day in Tyvek suits and the sun was on this side of the motel. So, uh, called the client, he was cool with us returning to finish the work. This time I have brought back two technicians to uh, get this fixed because we're, I, I wanna get this done. Um, ladies, Guess who's here on this job? It's your favorite technician, Moose. Moose, say Good morning. morning. How are you guys doing today? Back can you, in business. Can you blow kisses at the ladies for us, Moose? Oh, you have a fan club. I don't know if you knew that. I do. Um, and then my brand new technician uh, is hey. Brandon. Brandon. Here's hey, how's it going? Hey, Brandon. So you ladies, if you're into a hunkier man, uh, I got Brandon now working for Spalding Decon Plano. So, uh, both are former students of mine, so, you know, they're yours, ladies. Anyway, we'll be right back, back with uh, cleaning up on day two. Oh, 
That girl's upset for a reason. See that picture? <laughs> you can hear them. What? Alright, I'm gonna pull it seat down. All right, guys, this motel room is now empty. It's not clean. That wasn't part of our project, but it's empty. As you can see, I've got my friends here behind me. Um, let me show you what the after looks like, and then uh, we'll say goodbye to this god-awful place and our technicians. Uh, you, you know I'm gonna flip it around. So yes, we did take all the carpet because they asked us to and that was a good call because it was ruined. And uh, we have officially corrupted Brandon. Brandon, yep. tell us how your first job went. Oh, wait. I know Brandon's corrupted because he was in my pre-AP English 2 class yeah. and this boy said fuck 45 times today. But how can you not doing this kind of work? Honestly, Brandon, how, how, what was your first job like? Um, it was not what I expected. I thought that you know it would be kind of you know as messy as you know getting that food out at the bottom of the sink, but it was like a billion times worse. Uh, however, it was still you know it took some hard work, but I really liked it because you know I mean we got two really supportive people here, especially Miss Gern. She's uh, she's the best, and uh, Moose over there is also the best, and you know we. You know, worked together as a team and got all this crap done. And even though it was disgusting, it was we still had a good time. And you know, it was it was a good time. <laughs> a good time, yeah. That's what we have down here in Texas. Yeah. A good time with the bugs. How'd you deal with the roaches? I didn't. I just didn't. I just <laughs> didn't look at them. If, they, if you don't pay attention to them, they don't exist. <laughs> That's what we do in our line of work. We disassociate. Moose. What is good? Say hello to the ladies. What's up, ladies? Did you know you had a fan club, Moose? No, this is this is news to me right now. Oh, finding out. Oh, so. all right. Well, hello. I'll get you some names and numbers. Um, how was this job for you today? I mean, you've seen it all, really. Yeah. But was this one pretty gross? This one was an adventure for me. Uh, I call this one Roach City because uh, <laughs> it's pretty roachy around here. But if you look at the, each corner of of the place, you'll 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 find little uh, roaches forming and everything. So it was definitely an adventure. It's always a pleasure working here. And it's always fun for me because it's always different, you know? Yeah. I love the work. Fort Worth does deliver. So thanks again for watching, and uh, we'll have a new episode coming soon. 
Thanks for watching season two. We hope you're enjoying it. Don't forget to like, share, and comment what you wanna see more of. If you're subscribed to our YouTube channel, don't forget to ring the bell so that you're notified of new content every single Thursday. Thanks for watching.